Yes. As always, thank you for listening to Headbangers and Hooligans. It's yours truly, Scumalicious. And this is going to be a quick one. All right. Later on, I'm going to get into the full length album review of both Strung Out and Still Panther. I told you, I'm rolling with this shit. Uh, this is just a response to that fucking fag, uh, Jordan Bassett, I think is his name, for NME fucking magazine, whatever the fuck magazine that is. Listen here, you fucking butt nugget. No one gives two shits about what you think. About the same as me. Like, no one gives a fuck what I think either. But, I mean, his review of Steel Panther, Heavy Metal Rules, is so fucking lame. Well, you'll like this album if you've never had sex before. Why does everyone take everything so fucking seriously? You know what? I am so glad. I bet he likes the new Blink-182 with no fucking guitar. And... I'm at the house, I'm all alone. I it, it really is, that's what it sounds like. You know, Travis Barker, I hear's the greatest fucking drummer of all time. I can't fucking tell. He sure's a fuck ain't as good as Gr- Chris Daly. Who's the drummer for Pulley, by the way. He ain't as good as the drummer from Strung Out, RJ. I'm telling you. And I'm not trying to rip on fucking Blink-182, they've sold millions of albums, and I can't even believe I'm fucking saying this, but they were better with fucking Tom DeLonge, you know, all the small things, truth cares what truth brings, I'll take one look, seriously, yeah, I, I mean, Maybe they are juvenile lyrics, okay? But you're supposed to laugh. You're supposed to have fun with it, okay? If you can't listen to a song titled God's a Pussy and not smile at that, well, you know what? I I don't know what to tell you. Fuck everybody. You're supposed to have fun with this shit, you fucking spineless fucking turd. And I know, it's okay for people to have a difference of opinion. Difference of opinion than mine, you know. You don't have to agree with everything I say or like everything I like. But to just, like, just, and you can totally blow off the lyrics in the songs. But there's no denying, they're fucking amazing musicians. They are. Try, try to get past that if you can. And listen, fucking Satchel is a fucking shredder. I think he's the best guitarist on the planet. Just a notch above Pustulus and Ballsack of Gore, another band that people don't fucking understand. These fucking guys can play. Okay? You know, going back to Blink-182, I'm going to rip on him a little bit more. Okay? All right? Hey, I was in Bad Field Trip. It's not like we fucking... Blew everybody off the map. Played a bunch of different chords. I'm just saying, okay. I I swear to God, I hear Adam's song every other song on all their new stuff. From whenever, fuck man, they've been going for how long now? But seriously, dang, dang, I spilled the milk on the floor. You know, I swear to God, I I hear that same guitar riff in every other fucking song now. But dang, dang, but bring down, but bring down. Fuck, man. Uh, Is that what that guy wants? Huh? You want depressing music, and you want crying and fucking bawling. There's plenty of bands out there. Me, personally, I like a band that sings about fucking hookers, doing coke, fucking, you know, popping pills, (laughs) beating off, whatever. Have fun. He should have fun, but he doesn't. Fucking. So, as a fanther, all I'm telling you, Jordan Bassett, is uh, basically, go fuck yourself, you fucking ass maggot. All right. Got those reviews coming up, people. As always, take it easy. And if it's easy, take it twice, my friends.